Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. PDP National Chairman Governors David Mark Storm Bauchi. Something is going on and something is brooding. PDP is working on a strategy. There is something, you know, not quite clear. Everybody's strategizing, preparing for 2023. But beyond all this, their meetings and, you know, whatever they are doing, we don't want any political party. What we want is men and women with good and true intentions for Nigeria. People who can give us a new destination, movement forward for this nation to become better. We need to work and we need to put it straight into action. Whether PDP, APC, whatever party you belong, that's not our concern today as Nigerians. We want people who truly love us and love our nation. Let's get all the details and know why they are strategizing. PDP Storms Bauchi, National Chairman, Governors David Mack. Hmm. National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Uche Secondos, Governor Amir Tamawa of Bauchi State, former Senate President David Mack, former Governor of Gombe State, Halaji Ibrahim, PDP Deputy National Chairman, North East Central, Wamawa, Gamawa Stormed Bauchi. Secondos told journalists at Remote House they were, that they had a successful deliberation with the Bauchi, governors of, Bauchi governor to deliberate on matters that will move the country forward. PDP National Chairman also disclosed that his party will be fair to all, said they were in Bauchi State to discuss matters which he didn't reveal particularly. We are here on a solidarity visit to Bauchi State. During this visit, we had had a very successful discussion with the governor and government of Bauchi State. The rest are internal matters, Secondo said. Responding to whether his party will be filling a former governor for filing a former governor for the presidency in 2023, the national chairman said his party will consider meant for the time to come. PDP is a very democratic party. Everyone who is qualified, governor and not governors alike, will have the opportunity to contest, he added. On his part, Governor of Sokoto, Amir Tabawa, urged President Muhammadu Buhari to deploy our city in the fight against insecurity in the north. He said the situation in northwest is improving, but I want to implore the president to employ potent different approach for different policy for the nation. We have also appealed to him to involve young qualified people in security matters. He should make sure that whatever is due to those in, in whatever is due to those in the war front reach them. We have employed him to deploy more sophisticated ICT in tracking security issues in the country. Among others in attendance include Uche Secondos, uh, Governor Balema Mohammed, Amin Taboa, former governor of Gombe State, Ibrahim, former Senate President. Dev, David Mark and other party leaders were there in attendance. So this is what is happening right now as we speak. And, um, you know, PDP is having a strategic meeting. We all know what is going on in that uh, state. Insecurity and more, more, more is on the list of the table. And so PDP is gearing up and really working and saying, how can we solve this problem? They've gone to, you know, commemorate and they have the solidarity movement with their governor and say please how can we uh, sort out this issue truth be told yes i feel for now let me tell you what is happening so don't get carried away pdp is well is becoming more organized they are becoming a uh, people who you know um who have like they are one uh with one agenda and one strategy because they are working towards a goal and a purpose. And that goal is to get right back in the seat of power. But with this focus and, you know, with this focus and, you know, continuity, continue, can they keep focus? 
Can they keep it together? Can they, you know, make sure that this country move forward and stay in the right direction? Because they are, it, it shows that PDP is a more organized party. Honestly, it does show that PDP seems to be much more organized than APC as we speak. PDP seems to be very well more organized than, you know, the APC party we are talking about as at today, as at now. It seems to be more organized. So that's what we are talking about. Are you being organized because you have, a, you have a, a, a game plan at the end of the day or this is the way it's going to be? Like I earlier mentioned, we don't need any political party right now in Nigeria. We need men and women of true integrity, men and women who truly love Nigeria and wants this country to move forward. We don't want people who do not, who do not care about our nation. We want men and women who want Nigeria to move forward. We want men and women who truly have this nation in mind. You see, um, Nigeria, we can only move forward if we get away from this attachment of, you know, uh, it's from my region, it's from my place, you know, and we start working together as one people, one entity, and pick the right man for the right job. You see, and pick the right man for the right job. If we go and start picking, it's from this region, it's from this religion. Ah, hmm. That's where we got. That's where we got to where we are today. Look at the Buhari that the North said no. It's from the North. He will be more understanding. Good luck, Jonathan. Did I've not sent you luck? Good luck, Jonathan. Did a good job. Don't get me wrong. I'm not supporting him in any way. Good luck, Jonathan. Did not do well. It's worse than it was when Good luck, Jonathan was there. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I speaking your mind? The, the country has never been in a, more, in a more terrible state than it is today. And to make matter worse, Buhari does not want to involve anybody. In fact, this is the actualization of the game plan that he had all along. To make sure that the cripple bring the foot soldiers to begin to get the agenda in place. What are we talking about? For us to move forward, we must go away from the sentiment of, is my brother, is my sister. There are some people who are gifted with the gift of administration. There are some people who honestly, you know, know how to govern the people. There are some people who truly have the mind of leadership. There are some people in this country who truly can actually help our nation and stay it in the right direction. But what are we doing? Are we seeking, are we announcing those opportunities? Or we are just there saying it's from this region, so it is this, is that. You know, we want everybody, youth, everybody, please get involved. Get involved in Nigerian politics. Don't stay on the sideline. It will not help us. It won't, I can assure you. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.